What's up, fellow movie buffs and film connoisseurs? It's your self-proclaimed cinema showgun here. And it looks like Christmas just came a little early because I hopped online for a minute and saw there's a new teaser trailer for the upcoming Dragon Ball Super superhero movie. And I am excited to check it out. And I decided I would just do a legit, honest reaction right here with all of you all so you could see my first reaction to this trailer and we could discuss what we see in this trailer. But before I watch it, let me just give you a few of my expectations. Judging by everything we've seen from Dragon Ball Super Superhero thus far, I'm really excited about it. Now we haven't gotten much from it at all, don't get me wrong, but from the design of the characters, from the look that we've gotten at the animation so far, it just looks different. Something about it seems different and it seems new and exciting. Now, I love everything Dragon Ball, everything Dragon Ball Z, Dragon Ball Super, you name it. I love Dragon Ball Z or Dragon Ball Super now. But I haven't been sold on some of the character designs in Dragon Ball Super, like for some of the villains and some of the storylines. Like, I enjoy these tournaments, but at the end of the day, I like different type of story arcs. Now, Dragon Ball Z's always been about tournaments. You know, even in the Boo Saga, you had a tournament. In the Cell Saga, you had a tournament. So I get it, but I like different story arcs. I don't want everything to be just a tournament all the time. So just knowing what we know so far about this movie, I feel like this is gonna be something different. It just looks like it's gonna be something fresh, like a breath of fresh air within the Dragon Ball franchise. And I'm hoping that that's the case, but I guess we'll find out right now because I'm about to check out the trailer. I already have it right here loaded on my iPad. I'll put it on the screen for you all as well. Let's see how this goes. Y'all did not pull up on Piccolo like that. Piccolo is not having it. Okay. Is that, that's Red Ribbon Army. The animation is awesome and different. Gohan, let's go on in the Piccolo suit. Let's go. No. Gohan is back. Oh, y'all done fucked up now. Y'all done messed up now. Gohan is back. The Gohan I know and love is back, y'all. Whoa, okay, um, wow. It was a short little trailer, but definitely it's giving me different vibes. Like I was saying in the beginning of this video, that this movie feels like it's going to be something different. This feels different. I don't want to keep saying the word different, but damn, I'll be damned if this doesn't feel different. Gohan is back. That's the only thing I can focus on right now. I'm sorry, but Gohan has been a bit of a pussy over like the past few years. Not even a few years, for decades almost. I don't know where they went wrong with Gohan, but damn, it's like Dragon Ball Z. As much of it as it was a story about Goku, a lot of Dragon Ball Z and the best portions of Dragon Ball Z was almost like a story about how Gohan was going to become the most powerful. You know, from the first episode with Raditz, when you realize that this kid got has this, you know, unmatched power, all the way to the end of the Cell Saga, when Gohan defeats Cell. It was basically, and even though Goku would come in the forefront and defeat people and fight people, and there was tons of different characters and stuff, it was really a story about how Gohan progressed into Earth's Mightiest Hero, and how it wasn't really Goku anymore. And I think Dragon Ball Z was actually supposed to end after the Cell Saga, but then it went on with the Boo Saga. And then it went into a different direction where Gohan wasn't the focus anymore. You know, Gohan grew up and decided to go a different route. He stopped his training. He started, 
you know, learning and becoming a student and things of that nature. And ever since the Cell Saga, Gohan has been, he's had some moments, you know, even in the Boo Saga, he had some moments. Don't get me wrong. But he's been kind of lame. He's been kind of lame. I'm just going to call it what it is. Even when he got the Kai powers, all that, I don't care. Gohan's been kind of lame for a while now. And I'm someone who likes Great Saiyan Man. I like Great Saiyan Man, okay? So I'm not a Gohan hater. I like Gohan. I acknowledge he's had some moments. But he was, he never turned into what he was supposed to turn into. You know, he never did what we wanted him to do. And even in Dragon Ball Super, I felt like it was a chance to, you know, give Gohan some shine. And I really don't feel like they did it in there either. But in this movie, Gohan coming out in the old school Piccolo suit, that's how you know he means business. He's not there to play no games. He's not going to come out there and disrespect that Piccolo suit, okay? He might come out there in some, in some school pants and a dress shirt and get his ass whooped. But best believe, if he's got the damn cape on, he's not going to let Piccolo down. Everyone knows that Piccolo is Gohan's real daddy, and he will not let Piccolo down. And I guarantee you, he probably pulled up like that. He pulled up like that to whoop their ass because they probably beat up Piccolo, and he's not having it. I wonder if that's actually Piccolo's cape. Hopefully, Piccolo is okay. Hopefully, Piccolo is okay. But man, I really dug this trailer. I like that it really didn't focus on Goku. It was more so focused on Gohan. I don't know if this is a sign of how the movie will go. I'm sure it will all be about Goku in the long run. Dragon Ball Z has a way of doing this. It hypes you up when these characters come. You think they're going to be the one to save the day. Then then Goku ultimately saves the day. I'm hoping someone else could save the day in this movie. And seeing as it's Dragon Ball Super Superhero, Gohan, great Saiyan man, he, he kind of turned into a superhero, right? So it would be fitting if Gohan is the, you know, the, the main character in this movie, but only time will tell. But for now, this looks amazing. The animation looks great. It looks different. There goes that word again. It looks different. It looks almost between a video game and a movie, but not in a bad way. I was digging it. I'm sure it's going to be really crisp. This might be the first Dragon Ball movie that I actually go see in theaters. I never really had the chance to see Dragon Ball movies in theaters growing up. You know, you never, they didn't come out in theaters. But the last couple of Dragon Ball Super movies did come out in theaters, even though they were only in theaters for a few days. But I think I'm going to have to go ahead and try to find out, you know, as soon as possible, how I can go ahead and book some tickets to see this in theaters, because this looks epic. I like the design of the new characters. I saw it looks like the Red Ribbon Army is going to be involved here. Who knows how deep they're going to go down Dragon Ball lure. You know, I think this is going to be something special. I really do. So, overall, I am hype. I hope you guys are hype as well. If you are, let me know down in the comments below. Let me know how you feel about this trailer in general. All right, Gohan is back, y'all. At the end of the day, Gohan is back. But while you're down in the comment section, drop a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button. Ring that notification bell. And as always, find some time out of your day to go watch a movie.